My heels are badass. Tay Diggs is ready to strap on his stilettos and strut his stuff. I know it's going to change my life. The award-winning actor returns to Broadway in Hedwig in The Angry Inch. The show is, is brilliant. It's the most brilliant piece I've ever worked on. It's about a wannabe foreign rock singer's journey to America after a botched sex change operation. And while the story may be nearly two decades old, recent events have revitalized its message. I think it's a great time for it because people, uh, I think people's attentions are peaked right now just because uh, it does seem to be everywhere, regardless of your opinions. Hedwig is a demanding role, and Diggs is not taking it lightly. I get a, a little bit of a stage fright. This is the, the biggest, the most dense, physically, spiritually, you know, uh, challenging role I've ever uh, taken on. But it's also the most fabulous. I enjoy it. I got, I got a little uh, 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 glam in me. An experience he's excited to share with his five-year-old son, Walker. I don't know if Walker will be able to see the entire show, but I definitely want him to see bits and pieces and bring up these issues, you know, how daddy's playing a role where he has to play a girl and wears a wig and people made fun of this person. I'm excited to have that, uh, to have those conversations with him. While it's been more than a decade since he's been on Broadway, Diggs is staying very busy starring on TV. <laughs> in movies. It's like mob wives. Even writing children's books. Chocolate Me came out and now we got a uh, uh, mixed me. It kind of touches on uh, how we all may feel different or look different on the outside and how we are the same on the inside. And despite Neil Patrick Harris winning a Tony and four other headwigs coming before him, Tay Diggs is making this role all his own. Already it's going to be a little different because I'm going to be the first uh, chocolate headwig. It is going to be a little extra. I mean, I don't know if it has anything to do with me being black, but it has to do with me being me.